Benson, you must have ESP. I was just thinking about you. ESP, Governor, you sent for me. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times, shake hands, and come out fighting to your corners. <laughs> I got up early for this. Oh, I think dueling is kind of romantic. Yeah, about as romantic as a food fight. First topic, intelligence. Clayton. Come on, Clayton. Benson, if brains were dynamite, you wouldn't have enough to blow your nose. Oh. Okay. Clayton. Your brain is so small that you could put it in a Barbie doll's navel and still have room left over for three raisinets and a list of your important accomplishments. Well, we got Clayton all settled in. You put in a long day, don't you, Benson? Yeah, yeah. So do you. I thought you were gone. Ah, uh, policeman's work is never done. We had to beef up security because of Clayton. Been on the phone all afternoon with those temporary help agencies. Let me ask you something. You know what it's like to work with green recruits, Benson? No, I've never been off this planet. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. You gotta take them by the hand. Hey! Oh. <laughs> what happened? Sat on my gun. <laughs> Benson, relax. Guns don't kill, people kill. Yeah, people with guns. Hi. Hi. I'm hiding. I see. There's a strange woman out there. She's after me. Tall blonde. That's Gretchen Krause, the head housekeeper. I didn't stop to get her name. You. Who? You are leaving muddy tracks all over the place. Well, that's because I got muddy feet. I want your shoes. They'll be too small. You are tracking up the governor's mansion, and it is disgusting. Fine, and I'll walk on my hands. Gretchen, my love, I'm home. <laughs> I've missed you so. <laughs> oh, forgive me. You must be my Gretchen's dear friend, Trudy. <clears throat> Jean Gatling, governor of this great state. Gretchen, you never wrote to me that your husband was a sh... A, 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 a... <laughs> Gretchen, you never told me that Trudy had a speech impediment. Third topic, noses. Uh, Clayton, if you want to forego this topic, I can well understand. I know how sensitive your nose is to you. On the contrary, Benson, the Endicott family is quite proud of this nose. Oh, really? The whole family? What do you do, pass it around or stand under it for shade? All right. Keep a cheer. Frankie's here. Frankie, what do you want? <laughs> I brought a letter over from Miss Krauss, and I thought, since I was here, I... You'd pitch a few jokes to the governor. Frankie, sit down. But Benson... Sit, 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 sit! <laughs> Frankie, let me tell you something. I like you. Now, that may come as a surprise to you. I know it does to me. You're a good messenger and a nice kid. I like everything about you except your jokes. But they're funny. They're not funny, Frankie. The governor is not going to hire you. He does not need jokes in his speeches. His speeches are jokes. Come on, Bates. What are you following her for? She had nothing to do with any of this. I didn't say she did. I'm just checking out some information that Elgato might have had some inside help. So we're following all of you. You are what? <laughs> Incidentally, what were you doing in an apartment on Edgemont Place till 2 o'clock in the morning? I was visiting a sick friend. Oh, I believe it. Anybody who'd stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning with Taylor's got to be sick. <laughs> and you? 
Are you the blonde that walks nude in the moonlight? I have never been nude in any light. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's the wrong case. You were here all night. But you, you, stunt driver, lost my man making a fancy U-turn on a bridge? Where did you learn how to drive like that? I had a lot of practice driving through Georgia. <laughs> Base. What I do when I walk out of this office is my business. So you keep your nose in your own business or you're going to find yourself out of business. This is my business. So why is everybody getting so upset? I'm supposed to check for leaks. Why don't you check the back of your head? <laughs> Benson, Benson, Benson. Yeah, get a grip on yourself. You, Benson, shall we give it a run through? I got to go. Don't do anything stupid. Let me rephrase that. Don't do anything, stupid. Benson, this is an outrage. You have sullied my personal and professional reputation. Oh, come on, Clinton. Don't blow this out of proportion. We have the same kind of argument every day. The only difference is it got reported in Katie's school paper. He's right. I think you're overreacting. Overreacting? Sir, I have been the target of his constant abuse and harassment for years. Oh, and how I've appreciated it. <laughs> Well, this time you've gone too far. We'll settle this in a courtroom. Courtroom? That's right. I'm suing you for slander. <laughs> He's taking me to court. I should be taking him to court. Well, you don't have any grounds. Oh, yeah? How about roaming free without a leash? <laughs> the winning ticket is 000051. <laughs> One bitch, and that's Benson's ticket! It is? Oh, oh, yeah? Well, we couldn't afford a dog, but we had a rat. And guess what? I don't look like a rat. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You do? I don't. You do? I don't. You do? Don't, 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 don